You're watching Hayes TV, and here we are at stage two of how to decrypt intercepted German signals during World War II. Well, this is John Wetter, who's going to take us through, and this is Colossus, finally, isn't it? Yes, we're finally here at, at Colossus, um, which is the world's first electronic programmable computer. Uh, and the machine you see here um, has taken uh, volunteers here under the uh, um, direction of Tony Sale uh, 14 years to rebuild, but it's now working exactly as it did in the war. Uh, there were actually uh, 10 Colossi computers here in the war at Bletchley Park and six were in this building and the number nine machine stood on the same footprint as this machine does now. So, how does Colossus um, actually um, produce the information we want? Well, you remember we had that long message tape? Well, we load the message tape onto this pulley system to form an endless loop, okay? And you'll notice that the tape passes in front of this light source. Um, now, when it passes through the light source, um, obviously if there's a hole in the tape, the, the signal goes through, and where there's a blank, it doesn't. And there's a lens system behind here, um, which focuses the, the beams produced by the tape onto um, a series of uh, photoelectric cells, um, which convert the light energy into electronic data signals. And to give you an idea of the speed of the machine, the linear speed of the tape passing through the light is about 30 miles an hour, um, which equates to reading uh, this tape at the rate of 5,000 characters per second, um, which equates again input data to the computer um, of five um, uh, signal channels of five kilobits per second plus a synchronizing channel. So the total data rate into the machine is around 30 kilobits per second. So, we've now converted the light signal into electrical impulses, um, ready now for the machine to uh, actually analyze. Um, now, this machine is what we call a, um, a switched program machine. It's not a stored program machine, which people in modern generation would be used to using Microsoft. There's no Microsoft in this equipment. Um, it uses switched program. And what do I mean by switched program? Well, if you look at these, this display here, this, this switch panel, uh, this plug panel here, and the jack panel there, it's a combination of those which produce the program which the machine will analyse the tape from. So how was it actually used in the war? In the war there would have been two uh, wrens standing in front of the machine, probably with a flow chart, um, which told them what to do next. And there'd be a supervisor, an analyst sitting in the corner, uh, giving them instructions and support as and when they needed it. Um, so what they'd do, they'd, having the Bletchley Park analysed uh, the message manually, just to get some clues um, on the message, they would then say, well, that's where you start the programming. So they'd, they'd set the keys into a certain position and let the machine run. Um, the output of the machine, effectively, or the, the penultimate output, is this light display here, okay? And that's measuring uh, this light display here. You'll notice there's one, two, three, four, five strips on here, okay? Measuring a certain data concerned with each of those um, five input channels. Um, and it's producing a score. you notice the lights in this section, the units of a thousand, then hundreds, then tens, and then units. And you get a certain score on the machine. At the moment it's reading, I, I, can't, I can't read it properly, but it's probably reading about uh, 2,100 and something, okay? And what you're trying to do is to build the score up to a maximum. And the maximum might be in the order of, say, 3,000. Um, and so what they do then, they alter the program and then see what the score does. Does it go up? Does it go down? If it goes up, fine, you go on to the next stage and so on. So you gradually build up the score on this display until you reach a peak. And as you go back over the peak, you know, you know where you've, you've got to in terms of the optimum position. And when you've got to that optimum position, um, the computer's effectively saying, I'm now in a position to give you um, those uh, wheel settings, the wheel start positions which you need uh, to decrypt uh, the message which we put on the machine. And what you do then is, um, you actually throw one of these keys here, and out on this printer should come the, the, the wheel start position.
So now you hear it printing out the final results. So having completed that printout, that's the data we take through to the Tunney machine, okay, which will give us the final decrypted German message. Okay, so check back soon on Hexus TV when we're going to have a look at what goes on with the Tunney machine and how we get our final message out of it.